Having a boyfriend with anxiety is lots of fun because you can tease around with other guys, then make him apologize for calling you out. Try it and call him possessive and shit, and he'll actually believe you and even blame himself when you leave him. <laughs> It's such a fun game. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Psycho Hose Beast Central, a.k.a. r slash nice girls. Let's just get into the cringe. Why are you ignoring me? The gym doesn't take that long. Did you meet someone there? I know your phone didn't die because the text show delivered. Are you busy texting all your little hoes? Are you even at the gym? Send me a picture right now. I just don't understand why you can't respond. It takes two seconds. Wait, did you say that you're going to the gym to hint that I'm getting fat? You're an asshole. Fucking answer me. It's been 15 minutes since you left. Sean, don't ignore this. Please read it. It's been a really long time and you still haven't forgiven me. One person and one mistake shouldn't separate us forever. I want you to put it aside and be my friend again and more. You don't get to make those demands. I don't want you in my life, period. You want to still throw away five years? You can't forgive me? Still? You threw it away when you jumped on someone else's dick in our apartment. I haven't forgiven you and I won't. Why won't you let me back in? I've been saying sorry for three years. <laughs> I have absolutely no sympathy for this girl. If you want to cheat on people and have them be okay with it, find someone where that's the situation, you know? Find some cuck, some guy that, that wants to get cheated on or whatever, or just is cool with it and is cool with fucking other people or something, but don't do that to somebody who doesn't want that and then ask them to take you back. That's just silly. Not to suck my own nipple or anything, but what I offer is rare and you'll never find it in anyone else. Plus, I'm funny. Please, guys, don't ever say I'm funny. Like, I would have thought that this chick was kind of funny. Not to suck my own nipple, that's kind of a funny phrase. But when she says I'm funny at the end, it just, it taints it for me. I'm one of those girls that finds out everything and anything. Therefore, if you see my attitude different, it's because I know shit that you didn't want me to know. So if you think I don't know what I'm not supposed to know, just know that I fucking know. 79 smiley faces in a row. Who's happy in this situation? I'm assuming it's an ironic smile because who's going to be happy? Is she happy that she's finding out all this information that she's not supposed to know? Do these people really get that much satisfaction out of catching someone in the act? Hey. Um, hi. Hope you don't mind me asking who this is. We met at Snoopy's in SR last week. You don't remember? Oh, I met a lot of people there, so no, sorry. Mind if I ask how you got my number? I overheard you give it to the dude you were learning with. Uh, I gave it to him since he asked. It's not okay to do that, sorry. I, I think I'm done here. Why not? It's harmless. We could get to know each other. Sorry, but I don't even know who this is, and I'm a bit uncomfortable with this. It's Naomi. My bad. Sorry I didn't say earlier. So you're going to be there on Friday night, right? Fine then, you dick. Don't respond and fuck you. I hope you slit and cut yourself next time. You'll never find someone like me. I hope you slip and cut yourself. In what context is he supposed to slip and cut himself? Did you just hope that there's like, he slips on some icy ground and there's glass somewhere and he fucking cuts his wrist open and bleeds everywhere? I don't know what her intention is, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's very much hoping that he'll never find someone like you again. You're very fat. I don't like fat people. I accidentally liked you. I'm sorry. Please don't kill yourself. Someone will love you and you're husky one day. Just not me, because I like normal-sized people, which you are not. So boo. Bye. Wait, I'm fat? When did that happen? But I promise I won't kill myself. Thanks for the opinion slash facts about me. I'll try to work on it. I'm not really into cunts anyways. Listen here, fucko. This is like the first time that the usage of cunt in a nice girls slash nice guys video has been accurate. This is so random, dude. Like, it's completely unsolicited. Like, she sent the first message. You know what she totally could have done? She totally could have unmatched with him. That's what I do when I accidentally like people and then match with them. I'm just like, oh, no, I, I made a mistake here. Let me unmatch with this person, not bring to their attention exactly what I don't like about them. And the audacity, the... 
the arrogance this woman has to think that her opinion could cause this man to kill himself. Why would she include that? What kind of fucking power does she think she has? God, what an idiot. Becca, get it together. I thought you said you were done. Oh, so now you're not going to make an effort. Okay, suit yourself. What? So you're not going to make an effort. You said we're done and I don't want to push. Oh, okay, okay. I'll walk away then. I'll just force myself to move on. I hate when people do this shit of saying they want one thing and then actually wanting the exact opposite. It would actually be more effective if they were like, hey, do you want to play out a little role play? So I'm going to pretend that I want to be done and then you're going to just ask for me back over and over again and say, no, please come back. That would be more straightforward than being like, we're done and then getting mad when he's like, okay, I will leave you alone now. Yep. Definitely time to beat some ass. Whose ass I gotta beat this time? No one, because I'm not yours. Hey. Well, I'm gonna beat their ass because I want you. Funny, but no thanks. What the fuck? What a hoe. Bye. Here's a hint. Don't tell a girl you like her and want to date her and hang out with her and then switch up for some bitch who's probably ugly as fuck anyways got me fucked up wasting my time why do people always try to comfort themselves with the idea that the person that they're interested in is now with an uglier person doesn't that just mean that you have the worst personality of all time if they're now going after somebody that looks way worse than you you know but also i totally did shit like this in my nice guy days like one time i was like talking to this girl and we were sort of like talking seriously sort of like very vaguely but her ex-boyfriend was like being a dick to her and i was like i'm gonna defend your honor i'm gonna fight him and then like we messaged back and forth and then it just became this battle between like you come to my hometown and we'll fight and then he was like no you come to my hometown and we'll fight but like neither of us had cars because we were 14 so we just never did anything thank god because it would have been such a waste of time don't white knight don't fucking defend people like that it's 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 very silly, especially if they don't want you to. If they want you to, then go for it, I guess. Having said that, this woman is not white knighting. She's just mad that this dude is fucking someone else or with someone else, and she wants to beat her up because she's just mad that her man's is with somebody else, you know? This is some satire from Our Nice Guys. Why do women only date assholes? They should date me instead. The nice guy who's angry at all the women because of a thing I made up in my head. Yeah, come get some. They found a nice guy in the wild on Our Nice Guys. How non-self-aware can you be? It's not untrue. Women do go towards pieces of shit. Usually ones with issues, but that's most of them. Why is a nice guy here? We found a wild one. Yo, you know most women, eh? LOL. Imagine being the exact kind of person a subreddit is directed towards and being blissfully unaware of it. Sorry, buddy, but being a woman myself, I can dub that as untrue. But you're in luck because this subreddit is directed towards guys like you. Honestly, hate online dating sites. When I ask a man how tall he is and he asks me how much I weigh back, it's a sign of immaturity for me. Let me break this down. Every human is different and we all come in unique shapes and sizes. But let me say there is no correlation between weight and height in this scenario. If you were 5'6 in China, you are still 5'6 in the US. That measurement is solid and looks the same all over the world. I am over 200 pounds, but I carry my weight like a damn queen. But someone taller or shorter than me with the same weight is going to look different from me. So when I ask how tall a guy is, I am trying to see on the most basic fundamental level if I'm going to be attracted to you. My number on a scale is not going to change anything about me yeah but you're still doing something to quantify someone's physical value you know like you're quantifying height as an important value to you and they might be quantifying weight as an important value to them and i don't think that's too ridiculous don't just don't complain about things if you have also something about you that you don't want people to call out or ask questions about. If you don't want to be asked questions about your weight, maybe don't ask somebody's height. I don't know. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. I think that this woman is complaining for no fucking reason. 
hey, come hang out on Discord. Sometimes I'll uh, come in there and hang out and say cool things like 9-11 was an inside job. And uh, it'll be fun. It's really cool. There's a ton of cool people on there already, and I'm sure you'd love to get involved. So come hang out over there. There will be a link in the description. Um, skate on, you beautiful bladers. Come hang out in the Rollerblader Central Hub, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.